Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the third men in Last of Mine and we're going to be um, putting them in order, who's my favourite to uh, least favourite and also talking about their time on the show and stuff like that really. So um, yeah, but before we get into that please remember to like and subscribe and um, yeah, let's continue. So in the number fourth spot we have put uh, Cyril Blaymire, but that's because Surely because there's a lack of Cyril Blame My content. And also, I do like his relationship with um, Clegg and Compo. I feel like they really work together. And I feel like uh, Cyril Blame Meyer, he's a bit he's a bit up himself. He's a bit more of a... He's a bit of a moron, really. But I do like his chemistry with the other two as well, which I think is very cool. And I do like that. I do like how um, Compo was referred to him as a Tory or... Or like causing like sobby stuff like that. Um, I really do like their relationship. I feel like it is very well, very well done. And also, they have have like kind of that split side really between Compo and Cyril, and I like that. And apparently, that was like in real life as well. They had that uh, that that kind of split kind of area like that. But overall, I can say that Cyril is a great character. And it is a shame that he didn't make it to the third series. And I feel like they could have done a lot more development with his character, which unfortunately didn't happen. But I really do enjoy the comedy in the first two series. Um, I feel like it's a lot less physical comedy and more like jokey, if that, that makes any sense. Um, but I really do enjoy series one and two, and he's definitely amazing in that. And Michael Bates, absolute legend, uh, RIP. Um, he, he's really great in it, and... His character, I do like how they, they kind of write him out in a way where he's like, he's gone to live with this woman who he used to love or something like that. It was a bit of a strange ending really for his character and it would have been nice maybe if he had gone gone and joined um, some kind of, like he had become something in the army or maybe helped someone somewhere along the line like that. It was a bit of a strange kind of thing like that or he'd become more of a, like a Tory later on the line. But, um... So they didn't do anything like that. They just kind of wrote him off. Without... They gave him a send off, which is good because in some TV shows they don't do that. But I thought that was really great. Um, let's move on to the next one. So in the number third place, I have put Truly. Now Truly, I, I really do like Truly. Don't get me wrong. He is a really great character. He's more developed than um, than Cyril, but Cyril's just great anyway. Um, but what I mean is. Um, truly, uh, Herbert True Love, it's his proper name. Um, I do like how he always refers to his wife a lot of the time. He says, "Oh, the former Mrs. True Love," and she, she, she was a bit horrible to him basically, and she was a bit, she was ugly as well. That's what he used to say quite a bit. Um, so I always used to find that quite funny. And his dynamic with Norman Clegg, I mean, they've got such a great friendship, and I feel like that friendship is more expanded in the later kind of. Um, than the later series because you see them together all the time they're always in Clegg's house and you really see their kind of relationship and friendship um, which I really do like between Truly and um, Clegg but obviously but Truly also has connections with all the other with the other trios but that's not really what I'm here to talk about today it's mainly about his relationship with um, Compo and Clegg um, but yeah his relationship with uh, compo he used to say things like oh i used to uh, arrest people for walking like that and things like that because he used to be a police officer uh, which means he got all these contacts um he said this thing on one of the episodes i think it might have been in there goes the groom where he said uh give me five minutes alone with the police and they'll be wanting more autographs and he always used to talk about how he caught the the hackney the hackney strangler or the hackney killer or something like that he used to talk about that and obviously he didn't because it was all a load of load of rubbish we assume anyway um but i really do enjoy that kind of that re that relationship with him and those characters in there goes the groom he kind of just rocks up there and he's automatically there and things like that which i i thought was interesting but it's kind of a bit strange when he's into in, in, in his introduction he doesn't seem to like know compo and clegg before meeting them there but then later on it's established that they went to school with each other. So I've spotted this a few times whilst watching Last of Mine. But um, yeah, 
but overall, truly, is just a great character. He's he's up there. He, he he's brilliant. Um, but yeah, he, he's just such a great character. And it's a shame he didn't get to do much going into the later series as well, um, which is a bit of a downside because obviously him and Peter Salis, um, but didn't get to act as much because because they're quite older and they mainly stayed in stayed indoors uh, for quite a lot of that filming. Um, which is a bit of a shame, but he's still got tons of stuff out of, out of Frank Thornton, obviously. Um, but um, he was a great character, anyway. Uh, let's move on to uh, number two. Now, in the, in the second uh, spot is Seymour Uthwaite. Now, Seymour Uthwaite is a great character. Now, Seymour Uthwaite is like my dad's personal favourite third man, and also I, I really like him as well. He's, he's brilliant. Um, but um, basically, Seymour Othway, I feel like his character it was just amazing, and it was really needed for the show because I felt like it kind of. I was having two like kind of military kind of uh, political, uh, like obviously like leaders of the trio. So to go from that to having an adventure, to going having to, having an, an adventurer, an inventor. Um, a teacher, which is what he was really, um, which I thought was a nice, neat step, and also I really do enjoy how they use his house a lot as well, because they like kind of show him making up um, all of these crazy, wacky event inventions and things like that. That thing with the door, the little door thing, it was like shouting at the door to try and make it open, and it wouldn't open because of this machine not working. I always thought that was really great as well, but. Um, Michael Aldridge, he does an absolutely great job. Um, R.I.P. Michael Aldridge, absolute legend. Um, yeah, uh, Michael Aldridge, he, he's a bit like a Doctor Who of Last Summer Wine, in the sense is that he's like he's a bit wacky, he's a bit he's a bit strange, and um, yeah, I thought like Michael Aldridge would have been a great Doctor Who, but um, it's a shame that never happened. Um, but Michael Aldridge, absolutely great. He absolutely kills it in the role as well. Uh, also, I like how he's got. He like comes along to the, along to the show, and he brings all of his family with him. You've got like Wesley, you've got, you know, Edie, you've got, you've got Barry and Glenda. Obviously, all of this family just came from having, you know, having Seymour there. And I feel like Seymour is a great character. You also see his character fleshed out in other things like First Summer Wine. You get to see his character more there as younger as well. Um, but I really do like. Um, like Seymour, I think he's an absolutely brilliant character, and um, it's a shame we didn't get to see more of him because he's only in about four series. It would have been great if he maybe stayed on for um, series twelve, no, no, not series twelve, series thirteen, and things like that. That would have been that would have been great to see, but um, it's a shame that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, moving on to the number one spot. Now, in the number one spot, we have. The one, the only, Foggy Dewhurst. Now, Foggy Dewhurst was played by Brian Wilde. And Brian Wilde is the best third man. In my personal opinion, you may disagree. Uh, list your favourite down in the comment section down below. Um, but, yeah, I feel like Brian Wilde as Foggy Dewhurst, amazing casting. He absolutely brings everything to, everything to the show. He He's literally part of the show. When people think of Last and Wine, they feel like he's the original third man, not... They don't really think of Cyril that much, and um, which I think is a bit of a shame, really. But you think of Foggy, he's in all the merchandise, all the DVDs and things like that. He's kind of there, and Foggy Dewhurst is is the is one of the icons of the show, really. He's up there with Clegg and Compo and obviously Nora Bay. But his relationship with the trio, I've got to say, is absolutely amazing. I, I really enjoy their, their chemistry and the way they get along together. And they spent like 17 years together as a trio. Which I think is longer than any other trio has done. Um, yeah, and I feel like this relationship is amazing, really. And they're all like kind of there. And obviously, it's a shame when when they wrote uh, Foggy out because they didn't write him out. They didn't give him a, a, that good of a send off, which um, was a bit of a shame. But there goes a there's there goes the groom. Is a bit of a, an interesting episode. It's a bit, bit different for an exit and a bit different to an introduction. It's a bit bit of a strange one really but it is a good episode i recommend you check it out um but yeah so foggy 
absolutely great. I love how he comes along and he's supposedly known C Cyril from the army and obviously he went to school which was established with them three as well, which made more sense. Um, whereas the other two, that kind of gets wreck on later on. They went to school with them or they knew them. Um, yeah, that, that kind of changes. But overall, I've got to say, for Foggy, absolutely blends in there. Absolutely great. And I love the episode where they go on holiday together. That's really great. And they go to, I think it's uh, Scarborough they go to. And uh, they get to walk around there. I, I've been there as well. It's very nice. Um, but I, I love that kind of relationship between them three. And you really see that they're friends, even though that they've got, even though they're all very different, which I, I do like how you kind of see the different sides. You've got, you've got Foggy, who's just kind of like this, yeah, he's tall and he's got that personality where he's just a bit bonkers, really, a bit strange, um, mad ideas and things like that. And then obviously you have uh, Compo, short and scruffy. And then you have, you have Clegg, who's just kind of in the middle. He's kind of your every man. He's just, just a kind old man, really. And then obviously that, that dynamic just really works together. I don't know what it is, the blend of those different personalities and the way they act, I feel like works together really well because Foggy Dewurst isn't extremely posh, and he's not like extremely rough either. He kind of blends it both together, a bit like how Clegg does as well. But um, yeah, because he's not as posh as uh, Seymour, who Seymour is a lot more posher and probably a lot more richer because he has a massive house with a literally like, a massive pond as well. So <laughs> he is quite rich. Um, but yeah, overall, I do like the dynamic between the third man and obviously the other two, obviously Compo and Clegg. And I feel like it's really great how um, how their relationship is shown on screen. And I really do feel how amazing these characters are. And Lost and Wine is just one of the best shows really ever made. And um, I really do love these, the, the third men. I feel like they're great. I love how each individual on the different, but all similar in certain ways, which kind of brings me on like, um, Michael Bates, absolutely of a legend. I love how he's he's a bit different to uh, a bit different to Compo and Clegg, but it works. He's a bit more similar to Clegg, but it still works. And I love how he's how all of them are different but similar. And I feel like that's makes a makes a great kind of comedy really. And I like how every few series one of them goes and it changes up the dynamics and things like that, which I've always thought was very interesting. Because you gotta keep a TV show fresh before it goes, you know goes a bit strange really so yeah I, I like all of this all of these third men all of it absolutely brilliant hope you all enjoyed the video please remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you in a video soon enough uh hopefully i would like to get to uh 100 no hopefully i would like to get to uh 200 subscribers by the end of the year and with your help we can get there thank you for watching see you in the video soon enough bye